So if you ever wanted to sort an area chart by either the area or the last value or first value or whatever value, I'm going to show you how to do it. And please, Power BI team, this needs to be on by default. Thank you. So let's get started. So here I have an, an example of a area chart that you know you can see here that you can sort by the axis, but one by one. Obviously, if I have a date axis, I do not want to sort by views because the date will, you know what I mean. And then the other option is just by legend. I need to have the axis separately, please, Power BI. So we need to hack it. So I'm going to show you how to hack it so you can sort by last value or the last date or by the area. Right. So the data is actually quite simple. I have um, num pages, web pages, number of views, and then date. So number of views per date, basically. So if we go to Power Query, I'm going to create a copy of these. And we're going to sort by area first. So with area, we're, the way I'm calculating area is the total number of views for the page. So to do that, we just go to transform group by, and then I'm going to sum the views and this is going to be called something. And then I want to have all the pages, all the columns or the entire table so I can expand that afterwards so I don't lose any data. So now I have the number of views per page. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort. The reason why I'm doing this is because I need to dedupe. In case there are duplicates, because this is a sort column, it's going to be a sort column. I need to have different numbers per page. Two pages cannot have the same sort, otherwise it will not sort, okay? So sort, and then add column, um, index column, and then we're going to do uh, the following. So this is sort pages, and I'm, we're going to do if, views is null. If it is null, it will not sum. And we want to add an index number to all the rows. So if it's null, then index. So make sure that you put the index in there. Else, I want to have views plus index. And these will make sure that you get only one value per page. It cannot have the same. Two pages cannot have the same number. So this is our sort page columns. I am going to now get rid of this. And I'm going to expand views and date. Lovely. And this is going to be whole number. And then I'm going to close and apply. And then I'll show you how to build it. It's actually very simple. Right, so we have default sort here. So we put the date. We put the views and the pages, and we make our 100% area chart, lovely. And it's sorted the Power BI way, we don't want that. So you go to pages, and then sort by sort pages. Right, and then it does. Now, one thing I want you to be aware that if you get an error, which I did when I had like a 100 million rows, you need to I I tried different ways. At the end, I just left it to one row, like keep top rows, keep one, save, close, and open, and then the sort applied, and then I expand everything again, just in case it happens to you. So we've done by area. How do we do by, for example, the last, let's say that we want to sort by the last value, which is also a good sort to have sometimes. So we're going to go up. I'm going to duplicate. <laughs> and I'm going to do similar things. So advance, this is all rows. So this is the same. I'm going to leave this count rows, but we are not going to count rows. What we're going to do is first give this a name, and then this is going to be table max, and here is by date. So max date give me um, the table. This is not a number anymore. So you cannot leave the type in there. 
and probably it's not called date so what is it called date lovely date <laughs> okay yeah so now you see that we get um, the record where the date is max and then we want to expand the record views so this is the maximum view the number of views by the last date on the table lovely so now we do the same states as before sort of ascending and then we add an index column and then we add a custom column and we do sort pages Right, and then we go pages, sort pages, and now it's going to sort by the last item in there, as you can see. You can do list table max, table mean, you can do anything that you want to pick the value that you want in order to be able to sort by that. So nice. Now, the thing that would be fantastic if it, this was possible by default. So please, Microsoft, you need to fix this. Otherwise, it's very hard to use this chart. Okay? So let me know if you enjoy this trick. The file will be available on the download center. So I will put the name on the description box. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.